What's going on guys? Susan, I'm a back again. We're in here with the 77 C10 pickup truck. And as you can see, the doors are back on. The block just swung by to give me a hand putting those on. I did not have my phone mount set up in the tripod, so I missed that action. My apologies. But thank you to the block for showing up to help me get these doors back on. It's a lot easier with two people than it's with one. I uh, got a little bit of adjustment to do. Just small stuff. I'm going to go ahead and get this door prepped the rest of the way. I got some holes to fill where it had different mirrors on it at one point in time. And coming around to this side, the same thing over here. Holes where the old mirror was at. The farm style, I guess, or whatever their style of mirrors are called. I'll pull this one off. I've got new mirrors going on, so these won't be going back on. Um, so I'll go ahead and yank this out of the way. And then I will go ahead and strip the rest of this door down. It's got a little bit of surface rust there, but that's it. Like I said before in a previous video, these doors are pretty solid. Hopefully, I found that video when I talked about these doors. There's been a lot of stuff going on. But anyway, so that's the next step is to go ahead and get these doors prepped. The bed is 98% ready. I went and did a little bit of primer on this side where I had some filler that had shown back up after I block sanded. So it's just about ready. Just got a little bit of block sanding to do here. And... A little bit of block sand to do on this side here. I already took care of a lot of it back this way. You know, so I'll just smooth that out. It'll be ready for paint. And then the exact same thing on this side. We're just going to smooth it out and it'll be ready for sealer. And then we'll put paint on. I'm going to wrap the bed with paint just like I did on the Ice White Silverado where we came around here with the color. And then there'll be a bed liner on the inside. Um, I'm going to repair these spots in the bed the best I can. It really probably needs a new bed floor and wheel wells. At least one wheel well on that side. This wheel well is not too bad, but the bed floor itself has a few issues, but we're going to repair it the best we can, and then we'll get it all sealed up. Hopefully preserve it as long as possible. So, mouthful, things are moving quickly. There's quite a bit of dust up here. I'm going to flow coat the cab when I shoot the truck. Uh, my reason for that is the finish came out okay, uh, but you can see still a bit of orange bill here, which is not a huge issue, but... I want the truck to be a consistent finish so if i do have a finish like that it'll be everywhere or it'll be slicker everywhere but at least it'll be the same everywhere which is the goal so lots of things happen the doors have been painted on let's see here Get where i can actually open a door the doors of course you saw in a previous video maybe um if i did that video clip the doors have been painted on the inside door jams on the truck have already been done so when I come back to flow coat, I will go in and tape the inside of this door jam uh, about an eighth or something of the way in there, I guess. I just realized this door is in way, way far at the top. Let me pull that door out some. Which is probably why it's out at the bottom, because it's out at the top. So I need to pull the door out at the top so the bottom goes in. But anyway, like I said, some adjustments that we need to take care of. And I've got to put this fender on, which is over here so i get that fender on then we'll be ready and you can see i've already got my base coat down here because i was concerned about getting behind that bumper um so we'll do a little sand and blend the base coat in then we get all our clear on should work out just fine um and then the hood is going to paint separate from the truck that was the plan i'm sticking with that because that way i don't have to mount the hood right now with the fenders that need to be adjusted so i'll put the hood on last after i've got the doors where they need to be the fenders where they need to be i'll tape up the engine bay blanket everything up paint the entire truck assembled minus the hood we'll get the hood paint at the same time and then we'll be ready to reassemble what's left which is basically the rest of the engine components radiator pump or radiator water pump pulley uh power steering is going to go back up in its place then assemble all that stuff and get everything ready for its maiden voyage. That's a mouthful. I've got a lot of work to do and I have a very, very short time to get there. With that said, I'm going to get back to work. The 77 C10 is starting to look like a truck again. Got that sanded down where the fiberglass was at up there. Yeah, I got my knee pads. About to get down low. Um... So all that sanded down, I'm going to use a skim coat of body filler over there as a sander just to smooth that out a little bit. I'll probably do that after the filler primer. Um, 
Got a couple of low spots, I think, or high spots maybe in the door, but I won't be able to tell until I prime it and put some guide coat on. But this door is, oh, we'll just go ahead and say it's 95% ready. And then this door, I've got to strip the rest of the paint off. And I went to the 6 inch long throw DA instead of the short throw. Uh, I used a short throw on the other side, but this side of the door, the paint was, I'm guessing, facing the sun more because the paint is actually cracking. You can see right there all those little fine cracks in the paint. Now that's a paint, it's actually a, <clears throat> that paint's a repaint. So that white color you see, try not to shadow the camera here. This is the original paint. And this is over the original paint. So the original paint was white. That's the original primer. Um, there's some black etching under the primer. So you're black etching your primer, the original white paint, then more primer and white paint. So they just primed and repainted the truck when they resprayed it. And the paint they put over top um, kind of yellowed in some areas, as you can see, and just age. There's cracks, but, you know, the typical stuff. The other door is actually really a lot better than this one. And this door's not bad. I would consider this a rust-free door. It's got some surface rust, but nothing like through rust, no holes, nothing like that. So, good door. Just got to do a little bit of body work. I'll strip this down, get all this old junk off of here. And then we'll get ready to put some sealer and primer on. Um, let's see. <clears throat> I'll be using... This Keystone Key 3 in 1 Platinum Refinishing Series uh, Primer Surfacer. The reason I'm using that is I am out of my uh, Speed of Coat primer. I uh, ended up being about oh, a quart and a half shy, two quarts shy on the truck. Thought I had enough, I had like maybe a half a gallon just wasn't enough I used a lot on the bed um, and I used a lot on the Camaro because I actually had to reprime the side of the Camaro as you guys know so anyway that's where we're at I'm gonna crank the sander back up knock this out and I'll bring you guys back up when <clears throat> we are ready to put some sealer on or primer yeah when we're, when we're ready to put some primer surfacer on Got those spots where the lower portion of the mirror was at filled. The upper portion where the mirror was is actually going to be hidden underneath the bracket where the mirror goes. So I'm not going to worry about smoothing those out. I just filled those holes so that way water wouldn't be running down there into the door. There's a little dent or two down at the bottom. I had to sand this back down because I had some primer. Now I had some plastic that blew back from here and laid in the primer and screwed that up. So that's why that looks like that. I reprime that, reprime those. And then over here on this side, I will sand these down, sand these few spots down on the door, and then we'll reprime the lower half of this door. And I think we'll be good to go. I got my guide coat on there. We'll go ahead and sand around the rest of the door, make sure there's nothing else major. But I think after this, we will be ready for one more pass of primer and then some sealer and time to move to paint. It's the last time you'll see the 77C10, not in its final color. Man, talk about a workout. So I went in, painted the cab first, and then I got to wrap the cab so I can paint the doors, the fenders, and the bed. That required a reverse wrap on the inside of the cab to wrap everything up and make sure I don't get any overspray on it. I'm going to go through with some sealer and then some paint. I am dangerously low on sealer dangerously low so what i'm gonna do because i'm low on sealer is i'm going to take my sealer and focus it on the areas that are discolored so that gives me a better base for my red to cover um if you don't have sealer use more base coat i've got plenty of base coat but i still don't want to push it so i'm gonna take the sealer i'll hit the doors because they're a different color primer than the rest of the truck which i guess i should have just primed the truck in the whole 
boots and the same color primer, which was my plan, until I ran out and had to switch halfway through, or I'll say uh, 75% through. So there's some red overspray on the hood, which actually, now that I'm looking at this, I need to do nothing on these sides. i got to back tape the hood because I've got to uh, put clear on the hood. So I'm painting the hood off the truck, and I think that's the only difference. So... I'll back tape this on the hood, which I really don't have to do. Probably just put me a curtain down, and that'll just keep the overspray from traveling up under. And getting the underside of the hood, which is already black, red. So, yeah, I am going to have to do something about that, actually, now that I think about it, because I've got to paint this lower lip of the hood red, so it's red. And in order to do that, I would get red all over the hood that it's already black. And I don't want to redo that again, even though I probably have some touch-ups to do. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. It's always complicated, you know, it's never easy. Everything's ready to go on the truck. Sorry about the weird thing on the camera. I think this... Oh, yeah. This camera lens is cracked, so that's why you're seeing all these weird pixelations and stuff in the screen. That noise in the background is the exhaust fan that I use when I'm doing body work. Um, I've got a big fan on the other side I'll be using for extraction. We're going to be painting this with the high-tech paint. You can find this on eBay and a couple other stores online. Um, uh, man, that's why I hate plastic, man. I just despise plastic. It's pulling loose everywhere. Should have just taped up the whole thing with paper, which is what I was going to do. But I got lazy, so I pulled out the plastic. Oh, yeah. Don't use plastic anywhere where there's high pressure. And look at what everyone's got. Plastic where there's high pressure on both sides so if there's an issue it will happen right here i'm just gonna go ahead and tell you i don't have it anywhere else except right here and right there and it's because i was being trifling and lazy and decided not to use paper the rest of the way when i've got plenty of paper here at the shop anyway sealer paint and i don't know what i just said but i got the bumper wrapped up because i didn't take it off i was going to and i changed my mind uh I probably need to seal this area here just because it's vastly different in color. So I got to do that and hit the spots on the doors that are light. Um, like this area on the fender, sealer needs to be there. Basically anything that's not gray. Um, so I'll seal both doors and then flow fill these fenders to where, and the bed where I've got my light gray to get everything a grayish color. And then the tailgate I'm going to do separate because I just did not have space to work the tailgate and the doors and the hood and the fenders all inside the shop. So it'll be painted separately. But we're we'll going to go ahead and get the hood done, the truck done, and hopefully I have enough paint for the tailgate. I think I'm good. Got a gallon of base. So took about mm, maybe a quarter of a gallon to do the cab. So we should be good on the rest of the body panels. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this stuff down with wax and grease remover. I'm going to get another camera set up because this one's almost dead and get you guys on some of the painting action i'm not going to be moving the camera because i'm going to focus on what i'm doing this time in the future i will try to get a camera mounted to my paint gun or one that i strapped to my head i've got a gopro with a head mount somewhere i just haven't had time to find it because you know i stay really busy and this is always the last thing on the to-do list with that said let's get to work All right, you guys can see here I've changed things up a little bit. I've got a paint suit on. You, can, you guys have been watching the channel, probably haven't seen that before. I'm using the Mark One Refinish Pro, shooting at 24 psi, the 1.3 tip, and my primer mixture is four to one to one. So that's four parts primer, one part activator, and one part reducer. That's about the best combination that I've found as far as getting it to flow out nice and smooth it does not build um, quite as much using a 1.7 but in this case this is my finished primer or my last primer or the last thing that I'm going to do before I put on my sealer so that's typically what I like to run in most cases if you're doing just general body work and you're not having to do any heavy repairs as far as anything deep scratches um, rock chips dents and dings then typically this is the combination that I'll go with. I transition over here to the cab of the truck. You see my spray pattern just working my way from the top down. 
That's just technique that I use. Seems to work pretty well. And we're going to wrap it up right here. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and finish putting the Victory Red on the 77C10 pickup truck. My name's Erwin. This is Three Wheels on a Block. We're giving back what time has taken away. We'll see you soon.